What is going on guys? 6.2LK here today. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Uh, so today we're actually going to be heading to Irvine, not to see Rush. Um, he's actually in Texas 2K right now with my boy D-Rod. We're going to be heading to Irvine to take some pictures. Um, we're meeting up with my boy Brennan. Uh, if you guys know him, OC Rides. Um, he goes to a lot of the street car events and takes pictures and whatnot. So he's a really good photographer. I actually haven't posted an official uh, picture with the new uh, Daytona yet. Oh, also for those of you guys that don't know, I got the new Charger Hellcat wide body with the Daytona package. Um, if you guys have not seen my reveal video, which is the video before this one, I uh, you know highly recommend go check it out. You know, don't pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Go ahead and uh, see that video first, and then come back here. But yeah, I got the Hellcat Daytona Charger wide body, so it's, it's a lot to say. My God, they need to like shorten that a little bit. But anyways, we're at the gas station right now, currently filling up. Uh, it's actually her first fill up. So filling up with some good old 91. Um, hopefully it doesn't stay 91 soon. I plan on making it go E85. Um, just uh, keep it stocked for a while though, just to see if uh, how much stuff I can do um, without you know modding up the engine just yet. But trust me, it is coming pretty soon. So we're just waiting to fill up and then we'll be heading over there. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. Damn, no sound whatsoever. It's still a smooth sound. I'm honestly debating if I should even change the exhaust. I think I, I will end up changing it, but you guys like the sound and like it, the smoothness of the ride is insane when you're on the freeway. Just everything feels so luxurious and classy. So it's gonna be hard to change, but you know, honestly, I'll probably end up changing it. Once I go 85, I'm probably gonna have to take out the cats. Otherwise the 85 is just gonna erode the cats, but enough talking. Let's go uh, head over there. The brakes, I forgot how nice the Brembo brakes like they eat the rotors, just like they just bite them down. Oh my god, it's such a smooth ride! No spin whatsoever. I still feel in complete control of the car. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, guys, so as you know, we are in LA and with LA comes traffic. <laughs> so we are currently stuck in traffic right now. Um, I just got the location from my buddy. We're gonna be heading to the Five Point Amphitheater in Irvine, California. Um, he says it's a really good spot to take pictures. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting some official, um, you know, good pictures with this car so I can finally show you guys um, on Instagram because I haven't posted like an actual picture yet. But um, don't wanna bore you guys with the traffic. So I'll see you guys when we get to Irvine. All right, guys, one more thing before I let you guys go. A lot of you have been asking me and uh, messaging me on Instagram uh, asking why I didn't get the red eye. So the answer, it's quite simple. The price just wasn't right for me. Uh, we did look at a few red eyes. That was my original intention was to get a red eye. We were looking at multiple red eyes. We went to multiple dealerships over the span of a you know, few weeks, even months. I mean, I was looking at the red eye back in the, you know, uh, late of last year in October. I remember that's when I started actually red eye shopping. Um, but at the in the end, the, you know, my decision was uh, sound. It's just the price was not right for me. They were, uh, you know, offering way too much for the car. And we, while we tried to work a deal on it, even with Rush's negotiation skills, the, the the red eye was still very expensive, especially with my trade in due to my trade in and everything, the negative equity that I owed. It just, uh, you know, it, it didn't make sense uh, to go with the red eye. My payment with the red eye it would have been minimum, minimum like 15 grand. I mean, no, I'm sorry, like 1500 a month, 15 grand a month, Jesus Christ. Now it would have been like 1500 a month uh, if I had to guess around like 10,000 down to get down to that 15 grand, uh, 15, uh, 1500, Jesus. To, uh, yeah, it would have at least 10, 10 grand down with 1500 uh, payment a month. That is absolutely insane. It's asinine to be honest. So um, in the end, I made the right decision uh, with this charger. While it's still not a good financial decision to make on a car, um, it is the car that I ended up falling in love with and I really wanted. So we ended up going with this one. I definitely wanted another Hellcat at least. And uh, this is definitely a step up. It's a you know whole different car. It's a, ch a charger instead of a Challenger. So that in its own aspect is completely different. I've never had a four door, you know, uh, muscle car before. I've had three Challengers in the past. I started off with the 2015 RT, I went up to the 2016 Scatback, and then I got the 16 Hellcat. They were all Challengers, so it's nice to get a change. It's nice to get a four-door charger. I mean, like, come on guys, like a sunroof, all the space in the world. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with the car, so um, that's that. All right guys, so we are here at the Irvine Airstrip. <laughs> <You see? laughs> um, 
with uh, OC Rides. Brandon, we're over here taking pictures of this beautiful sunset, as you guys can see. is The weather is absolutely beautiful today. It's been raining uh, yesterday. It's supposed to be raining all of next week. So uh, we're taking the time, you know, appreciating for what we got. Friends over here taking professional, professional pictures of the new Hellcat. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. All right, guys. So we ended up uh, seeing the gates to the actual uh, airstrip to the runway was open. So decided we'd take the take the advantage and uh, go into the runway. What a beautiful view. Look at that butt. <laughs> oh man. Absolutely beautiful. And just like that, the photo shoot has come to an end. I know, I'm in a whole different environment actually here at the parking structure at Irvine Spectrum. Just thought I'd end the video right now, but I wanted to give a huge shout out to Brennan or OC Rides, as you guys might know him on Instagram for coming out to Irvine and taking pictures of my new Hellcat. I'll be uh, making sure to post those pictures tomorrow on Instagram for you guys. So if you guys already don't follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure the majority of you guys do, but Six Point Hellcat on Instagram, make sure to uh, follow me on there if you guys wanna see more content of this new car. And I'll be making sure to post a ton of more videos with this car. I have a ton of ideas already in mind. So make sure if you guys aren't subscribed already, please like and subscribe. Also, if you guys have any ideas for what, you know, maybe I should do, in future videos make sure to leave that in the comment section down below but anyways guys hope you did enjoy this video i'll see you in the next one have a good night